So, people might know I drink. And therefore, I have made many fashion choices being drunk. That's mostly coats, jackets, kind of thing. And I just remembered one. <laughs> Which I'd forgotten about. And I'm going to show you all. But the last one, the last one is incredible. Now, I need to get some content uploaded, so I won't edit this, but... I was going to do one, but my computer isn't here for that yet. So I'm going to start with a funky one. Now, long term viewers have probably seen a lot of these, but there we go. The first one is one of my favourite coats I've ever owned. I adore this coat. <laughs> it looks like two. Do you remember growing up, especially with all my age, every car had like those blankets held on the back seat under the window so you could all see them in case you crashed and got cold. It's like two of those together. And like the inside, like, I've bought a lot of stuff from Boohoo Man and it's been mostly shite. But this, this is, this is gorgeous, I love it. And uh, the weather's getting cold enough for me to wear it again. So, uh, next is another coat. I've not worn this one in public yet because suddenly goes dark it's because we've got this lamp thing we're using and my cat likes to sleep on it so this is a full-on kind of goth coat I've got and it's black wool and my wife fell asleep the other day and I put her over it to keep her warm and then the cat slept on it so it's absolutely covered in cat hair but like ridiculously so but this thing Cost me twenty-five pounds for it did. It's heavy as hell. And hang on, let me see if I can <laughs> You can kind of see how long it is, but it fits. The quality of it is amazing. And it fits so well. 90s bad guy because they all wore leather coats, didn't they? I'm a vampire. <laughs> Might have to start wearing this one as well. Yeah. A lot of people will know my love for pink Adidas. And my struggle to find anything pink Adidas that fits. <laughs> I'm gonna save that for last. Next up, we have my Pharrell Williams sports jacket. Don't do it, don't go on the lamp. I quite like this, but my belly's a little bit big for it, so it fits quite well. A bit tight around the um, shoulders. But look at this. Like, I 
that looked like a American, like Ukrainian gangster in New York. Dmitry, Dmitry, put it down. We do not do this like you do in the whole country. <laughs> the next one is loved by all. It's been on the channel for a very long time. <clears throat> and I thought I'd get you to say hello to Tabs. He does the cutest thing when I go to kiss him. Watch him. Hello. Ready? Because you're sat on the classic. And I've definitely put on weight since buying this. All those drunk live streams. All of them. the times I was drunk in my local shop stopping crackheads wearing this it's at least three times <laughs> next up is one of my favorite items but I can't wear it so I've got to sell it but it's so cool feel of it on my skin. Ugh. It's a fleece. And you go, oh, what's so special about a fleece? <laughs> Isn't it cool? I wish it was more in the front. Fashion decisions. Decisions. When I'm drunk, I really do. Next up are some trainers. Actually, I've got another pair I can do there. These are Phantom Storm. By Under Armour. And apparently I decided when drunk one day I was going to I have joined a gym recently, haven't been yet, but the intention's there. And one of my feet is size 10, the other one is size 11. So drunk of me thought size 10.5 would be perfect. They fit, they fit, but they're not comfortable. <laughs> like, just the top of my right toe, on my right foot, just, it's just like half an inch <laughs> too long. <laughs> and I thought to myself, maybe I'll break them in. But I wore them for a week and they didn't. Now I paid 85 quid for these. <laughs> but I left it so long before I tried them on, I can't return them because I've got that habit of buying stuff. Then going, oh, and it hits that itch I have. And they're not touching it for weeks. <laughs> and this is what happens. Got three pets of trainers to show you. The second one to your net. These are currently in my eBay box and I did a video on them. These things are so fucking cool. Like, I adore these. Again, drunk me, 10.5. I think I bought these all like the same night. My foot doesn't fit. <laughs> like, my foot. Is too fat to go in. So 
They are, definitely. Men's 10.5 in the UK. But my foot is too fat to try them on. So they're in perfect condition. And they're going back to eBay where I bought them from. But I only paid 30 quid for them. So I'm trying to get organised in my life at the moment now. I've got like five boxes. I've got two boxes of keyboards. One box of uh, ASMR stuff. One box of stuff for eBay. Which is mostly like Evangelion figures. If anyone wants to buy those. Okay, last train. If I still have it here. Now. They're going, oh wow. Beavers and Butthead. Like, really good quality. Beavers and Butthead trainers. Okay, they're cool. But you're gonna cringe because they're size 11 and they're Helix. And they fit really well. They're like really decent trainers. But after falling off the skateboard last year, I've been too scared to try them. <laughs> so they've just been sat in the cart. I'm a 41 year old man with Heelys that I'm too scared to use. <laughs> I think I paid like 25 quid for them on the, some kind of sale or something. Right. Next up, my cat's about to run. Does not like the noise of these waterproof. I've got to find pink tops. I can never find a pink top I like. And this is a pink raincoat. It's just, I mean, fits right, does what you want it to do. I guess it's kind of boring. Next one has a bit of a story to it. So, in the shopping centre I work in, there is a shop called King of Vintage, and they're brilliant. You know, it's all second-hand clothing and stuff. And they've been there. They've been open in one way or another for about forty years. And twenty odd years ago, when I was young, and the grunge, the grunge scene, there was a shop called One Legged Jockey, which we used to get our vintage clothing from, and the hoodies and the leather coats. And it turns out that he used to supply them. So I'd go in there every now and then because he's got like you know, old 90s sports stuff is retro and cool at the moment. And I went in there looking for a pink. <laughs> I think I've done a video on this before actually. Uh, looking for a pink Adidas. And what I got instead was Mauve purple? I don't know how to describe it. But he gave it to me for 20 quid. When initially it was 40 and I went, okay. <laughs> and I definitely made a video with this one. And it fits really well. Like, really, really well. <laughs> but when I picked up the, uh... <laughs> this is something. When I picked up the ticket off to try it on, <laughs> it's a tracksuit. <laughs> it's a full on tracksuit. And I said, I don't want the bottoms. And he goes, well, it's a pair, take them. And I went, okay. And I'm not wearing still really because I'm wearing my boots. And I cannot be asked to edit this at the moment until my new computer turns up. So, you leave this to your imagination. Dimitri! <laughs> like, and I thought, I could do a Gopnik Russian. <laughs> so I own a full on Adidas tracksuit. <laughs> I hate people in tracksuits, not at the gym. <laughs> and I put it on. My wife sort of went, You are never wearing it outside, especially with me. So, I bought this next thing. Now, I'm going to have to show a bit of skin on this because I feel it gives away the uh, the best version of it. Okay, so you're going to get some fat hair. <laughs> I'm 
trust me. Trust me, it's worth it. said size XXXL and it's a uh, larger most <laughs> It's unisex. <laughs> uh, someone bought something from Lidl. They left a the voucher in there apparently. This is my second time trying it on. Uh, okay. Because <laughs> no, I want this to the thumbnail. Hang on. <laughs> Even just where it is. <laughs> Like a little, the, the quality of it is insane. It's got like this little Adidas trifold. That's a pin. The inside is like this silky purple. I don't know if it's reversible or not actually. Uh, I don't think it is. But um, this is going to be the thumbnail. <laughs> that's it. Oh, that's it. I, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> this was the most voted video that you wanted uploaded first. Oh, my slight comeback again. <laughs> Bye.